All right, you guys, this is Ross. So in today's video, I thought I'd do an announcement video. We have a number of things I want to cover and talk about really quickly with you guys. Um, it's uh, It's been a while since I've been really having any amount of time to myself. I've been really focused here, guys, on the CPA exam. And I think a lot of people, for whatever reason, think that this is like my full-time job or something. And as obsessed I am with figs um, and growing fruit, it's not, <laughs> you know. Um, this is a side thing that I really love to do. So uh, most of my life in recent times has been dedicated to the CPA exam. Uh, right now, I'm, I just took uh, BEC and I took auditing the last few months um, since tax season had ended. So uh, it was kind of crazy with tax season. Then we had this whole uh, lots of uh, preparing for the upcoming season and getting everything ready outside. And then I was just full-fledged studying for the auditing exam. Then I started studying for the BEC exam. And then now I'm going to be starting to study for the regulation exam, which hopefully is the last one that I have to deal with. Um, so we're almost there. We're almost done. But hopefully, I, I imagine maybe by this winter, I will have this whole thing out of the way. And I can go back to some sort of normal life. And um, I will have uh, this license that um, I desperately need. So, um, yeah, and we're going to make some life changes as well at that point. I think it's really going to be interesting. Maybe I'll talk to you guys about some of it. It's, I mean, it is kind of personal things, but, you know, I am going to really excited to really just make a change in my life, you know. Um, so as we talked about you know, before and some other announcements I've done for you guys, we're going to be at some point here buying a property. So I'm going to have hopefully a minimum of five acres of land and we're just going to go nuts. You know, there's going to be so much fruit trees and nut trees that I've never even gotten into before. Uh, we're going to plant all kinds of tropical things. We're going to be trialing so many different figs. I mean, it's just going to be, it's going to be insane. And, and hopefully at some point, I'm going to be selling the fruits this year. I actually have so many fruits this year that I don't know what to do with them. And I could very easily sell them locally. And that was my plan. We talked about that guys for, for years now, we've been, we've been saying that. And last year I didn't do it because of COVID this year. I'm not doing it because of my exam. I just don't have enough time. The effort, the money is just not necessarily really worth it to me right now. Um, there is a restaurant nearby um that's probably the nicest italian restaurant in the area and uh i grew up with them um and my brother did as well and we have a good relationship with them um i was just there for dinner and gave the owner a fig tree so um yeah we're kind of just really setting the uh the the setting here or something to eventually be selling to that particular restaurant um in the future and I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, if it doesn't work out with them, you know, there's probably many other places that are want these figs. So the quality will will eventually speak for itself. So that's my life in a nutshell. I just thought you guys might be interested. A lot of you have been kind of messaging me or, or just commenting on the videos like, where's the update on this? Where's the update on that? It's like, I have a life, guys. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't really keep up with this as much as I'd like to right now. I love doing this. And that's why I do it, you know. Um, so anyway, so the uh, the first announcement, other than you know what's just going on in my life, is that I'm going to be presenting for the California Rare Fruit Growers uh, very soon. So it's going to take place on Saturday, uh, August 28th at 10 a.m. California time. It's 1 p.m. my time, I believe. I'll have to double check on that because I think it's three hours, but sometimes it could be four depending on the time of the year, I believe. So I just want to double check on that. But it's 10 a.m. California time. It's going to be over Zoom. So it's, um, you know, it's a it's a virtual presentation. If you're a part of the organization, you can watch it. Um, I don't believe, though, however, that if you aren't a part of the organization, you'll be able to watch it. I was told that I could share the Zoom um meeting with some close friends and family but uh i'm gonna try my best to hopefully at some later date maybe publish this um uh, in some way the presentation in some way 
so that you guys, the general audience, can see it. I, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. So um, we'll see. This is all really – I mean, they reached out to me. They wanted me to do this, and um, I think it's great. I think the presentation is going to be fantastic because this is going to really encompass a ton of information um, on growing figs. Maybe I will – and if I can't share it with you guys, I will maybe do an entire uh, second presentation that details all of the information that I talked about. And it's really just going to be about growing figs. I mean, uh, you can see here in this newsletter, it says, have you ever had the pleasure of eating fresh figs off a tree? Have you ever had the opportunity to enjoy fig honey? Do you know figs are one of those rare fruits that you can mimic any flavor you can imagine? Join us for a special August meeting as Ross Ratty delves into the wonderful world of figs and the unimaginable diversity of this amazing plant. It is a pretty unimaginable diversity, to be honest with you. Uh, Ross will be talking about the fantastic journey of growing figs, why you should get into them, what are the best ways, what benefits you may see along the way, the stories behind some figs, flavors, textures, genetic diversity, and a whole lot more. Ross Ratty is a fig enthusiast, well-known, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the point is, is that you could see that some of the topics there that we're going to talk about, but really I think what I'm going to sort of pivot to, and I, I want to talk about genetic diversity and the different flavors and textures and, and the varieties of these figs, but I really want to cover just how to grow figs. I mean, like really some serious, great information that I think is just not covered. Uh, you Maybe you'll find it in like Condit's monograph or something, or some different writings maybe i know even the california rare fruit growers has a page on growing figs and there's just some things that i would like to cover in a big presentation my own thoughts on the particular topic um, so we're going to cover things like all kinds of techniques um, the growing characteristics and things that i think are just generally important about learning the basics of growing figs and a lot of this information is going to come right from the blog. So if you haven't been a part of the, you haven't been signed up for the blog, you uh, you haven't seen the blog, it's in the description of the video. It's figboss.com. This is where I post a lot of information in the form of text, in the form of blogs. You can go down here to the bottom, you put in your email address, and you can get notified just every time I, I, I uh, publish a new blog post. That's really all it is. Um, and that way you can stay up to date with what I'm doing here. I know a lot of people on our figs when I was a part of our figs, which was a, a fig community. It is a fig community of hobbyists, hobbyist fig growers. Um, I'm no longer a part of that, and I'm no longer a part of any of the Facebook groups. There's just a lot of drama and negativity and nonsense that goes along with these people that it's just not the same as what it used to be. And I can even tell you that it's continuing because of something I recently heard, and it's just like it's very sad. And honestly, I'm way better off. My life has been so much better in the last eight months of not being a part of this nonsense um, any longer. So um, I know a lot of people on our figs when I would post every year in the summer about my different experiences that I had. Um, people loved it. You know, they really appreciated a lot of my posts and what I was doing for the fig community in the form of at least text form. You know, obviously I've been making videos for a long time as well, but and people appreciate that. But I know a lot of people are going to miss or we're going to miss because now I'm not a part of our figs and I'm not posting different different things anymore. They're going to miss my contribution to the fig community. So if you want to have that, you want to experience that, and that's something you, you, uh, you want to see, you just go to the block because that's what I'm going to be doing very soon here. Actually, as soon as I end this video, I upload it, publish it. I'm going to be adding a ton of information here right to the blog that's what i'm doing all day basically and you can see that in my fig mafia facebook group um, this is really by the way just a group of my very very close friends it's not anything more than that I, so i apologize if you know you requested to join i can't and i'm not going to allow this group to be open to the public to then ruin the group <laughs> it's essentially all it is is that there's a number of fig growers that I highly respect, and I want to um, share the you know the hobby of growing figs with them, and I want to continue that outside of the public domain. You know, um, so that's what we've been doing in this group is just very simply posting about things that uh, we found interesting 
about growing figs. That's all it is. Just a very small, condensed version of it. And uh, so far, it's been pretty good. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing is instead of just posting in here and it's a secret or it's like very private, I know at least historically people have made groups like this and they haven't really revealed the information to the public. That's never been something that I'm about. Um, this doesn't need to be very secretive, but what I want is to have a dialogue with my friends. That's all this is, is a dialogue with my friends, the people who I respect the most in, involved in this hobby. And that's that's it, you know? Um, so we are going to be, for the sake of, you know, if you want to have the information that I'm putting out, you can go and find it right there on my blog. That's, that's it. Um, so... And also, by the way, one of the blog posts I'm going to be finally finalizing here, I think it's going to really be very important. And also, it's going to be talked a lot about in future videos that I'm going to make. But it's also going to be talked about in this presentation that I'm going to do on Saturday is something called the Fig Commandments. So again, this is all about kind of the basics, if you could just call it that, really the basics of growing figs. And I'm going to cover things like topics like water food sunlight temperature pruning miscellaneous things i may even condense it or shorten it or whatever i'm not entirely sure how i feel about this i've been editing this for the last couple months for a while um, to try to get this thing right um, so this is kind of some of the things that again that i, I really want to put out there and get out to you guys and then some of the other things that we're going to be putting out very soon for anyone that's interested to know is that I have all these videos that I've uploaded but have not published yet. So um, for those of us who follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you just know that my Instagram is filled with a lot of the information or a lot of the things that are just going on right now. You know, um, as I've been sort of behind I have been at least trying to update you guys on what I'm harvesting or what's happening in the backyard. You know, if I get a variety of fig that I really like, then I kind of post it on, on Instagram or some big tomato that I found that was in my yard or all the many tomatoes that I'm growing. So this will kind of give you an idea of what's to come in the future or what's at least happening. But um, very, very soon I have so many tomato videos, at least I think four or five that are going to come out about tasting different tomatoes. We have a persimmon update video. I have a video on figs in terms of splitting. So what can kind of alleviate splitting, I believe. We have a different number of variety reviews here. I have a video talking about some fall and summer fruits that I'm going to be harvesting as like a little bit of a tour. Um, we're going to talk about Smith once again even talking about the Asian pear, because that's coming in very soon. I did a video of an episode of Fruit Talk that was done outside. And I don't know, I think I want to publish that um, probably tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, because it's been a while since I even created this. We're going to talk again about the melons, and we're going to talk about peaches. I have more peaches that are ripening right now, even though the rain is trying to destroy everything I grow. Um, I have a lot of peaches that are still coming in. So hopefully we'll get to cover all of this um, very soon. I'm going to probably start releasing the videos every day rather than every other day. So that's the goal. That's what's going on in my life. Uh, highly recommend you guys check me out on Instagram if you're interested. Um, it's really just for photos here and there, but you know, at least is nice because you get to see all the all the fruits that I've been harvesting uh, this year. You know, a lot of the berries that I got started out with the honey berries, then we went to strawberries, then we had gumi, and then we had all kinds of blueberries, uh, you know, and we had the black raspberries, the raspberries themselves, the uh, the josta berries, the, um, the gooseberry as well. I mean, there were so many berries that I harvested this year. Uh, and I'm trying to keep you guys updated on that um, because, yeah, figs are great, but there's so many other fruits. And just having that diversity in your yard is is really special. So, yeah, thanks, guys, for watching. Um, I hope to see you all soon. All right. Um, catch you later.
Take care.